Yo, what's going on guys? This is Bernie again and this is tutorial number 15 and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about ExpressJS routers. Okay, so you may be asking yourself, yo Brent, uh, we've been using routes this whole time. Um, but I'm going to tell you that we've been only using generic routes through Express's app. Um, so actually what we're going to do is we are going to separate our routes into different categories. So we're going to have an, uh, a router for logins, authentication, all that kind of stuff that we've basically been do doing in this tutorial. We're going to have a route for like APIs and stuff like that. Um, we're going to have a route for secure web pages. So after we get logged in, like our profile was, and then maybe even an app for um, admins only. So let's check out and see how we can do that. Okay, so the first router we're going to make is going to direct traffic to everything that we use for authentication. So login, uh, sign up, Facebook, Google, uh, authorizing Facebook and Google, and unlinking all of our accounts. Pretty much everything we've done in this tutorial series except our profile page. So let's do that now. Okay, so there's a few steps to set this router up. The first is to actually create the router. So we're going to create a new variable called auth, and that's going to equal express dot router. Then we're going to set the router up by requiring uh, the file that we're going to set the routes up in, which is similar to our routes.js file up here. Um, we're going to say require, and it's going to be dot app uh, routes and auth.js. And let's go ahead and create that now. We saved it. Um, so in our apps, I've created a directory called routes and inside of uh, that directory, we've got an auth.js. Now all we have to do is uh, make sure our app uses that uh, uh, router anytime anybody navigates to our, our website slash auth, okay? So um, let's use app.use. And we're going to say anybody who navigates to slash auth is going to have to go through the auth router. So that is setting up the server.js file. Now let's go and set up uh, configure the route. Before moving on, we actually also need to uh, make sure that uh, the config file for the uh, router has the router itself um, and our passport uh, for authorization. Okay, so we're basically going to copy everything out of our routes.js file except the is logged in function. And then we're going to paste it into our auth.js file and uh, do some editing. First thing, everywhere there is an app, we're going to change it to router. So let's go ahead and click through these really quick, I hope. And hopefully I don't miss any but we're gonna use our router instead of the app for each of these routes. So a few more here. Sorry, there's just a lot. So we're gonna back through all those and do router. Now everything in here is already in the slash auth path. Example, um, this route right here actually points to local host 8080 slash auth, okay? This route below actually slash auth slash login. And example one more, this is sign up. So uh, where it gets a little tricky is uh, down here. We've already set up uh, slash auth Facebook. So basically all we, we really need to just go ahead and get rid of all these auths right here. So we'll get rid of those. Same with the Google accounts and save that. So we have to clean up some of our EJS files. So really quick, I'm gonna go into the index.ejs and this is auth slash login and auth sign up and we're gonna have to clean some more. Our login.ejs uh, file has to post to auth dot lo or slash login. Uh, down here, we also have to change to a need account auth slash sign up and otherwise it's going to go to um, slash auth for home. Next let's go to our sign up page. Um, it also needs to post to auth sign up. Uh, down here it auth login and to go home is auth. Save that and then connect local 
is auth connect local and let's see uh, I think that looks like it's it so let's save all those and continue all of these actually need slashes in front of them so let me go through and save these Login, I added one there, added one there, and sign up. There we go, let's save those and continue. Okay, so now we're going to actually use a second router. Um, this second router is going to route traffic to pages that the user has to have already logged into to view, or logged into our web app to view. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up a var secure equals express dot router. Then we're going to configure it by requiring um, dot slash app slash routes slash secure dot js. We're going to pass into it the router itself and passport, which we may not need. I may delete that later. Um, and then we're going to tell our app to use this router for all default routes that don't match slash auth. Um, so, and then it also needs uh, the router as well. So now let's go in and configure. We I've already created a, in our routes folder a secure.js file. Uh, so we're going to go in here and edit it. Okay, so inside the secure.js file, we're going to do module.exports equals function that takes in our router um, so router and passport like I said we may not use passport we may delete that later so one of the cool things about routers is they're basically like mini apps we can also use middleware on routers and that's what we're gonna do in this secure uh, router we're gonna make sure it, before they get to any routes in the secured that it goes through a is logged in uh, middleware and if it's if they're not logged in then it's gonna redirect them back to our other router our authorized router uh, and make them log in before they can access any of uh, the secured routes um, so we're gonna say router dot use um, and it's gonna be a function and the function for middleware is uh, request response and next to move on to the next middleware uh, um, we can go just back to uh, our routes.js file and copy our is logged in function here so let's copy this and go to secure and then we'll paste it in here so basically this is saying um, if the user is authenticated then go ahead and continue on uh, with the router uh, whatever their pathway they're going to otherwise redirect it and instead of login we're gonna redirect them to uh, slash auth which will take them to the index page um, for our auth router so let's go ahead and test that um, save it and kill this node server.js or server.js so let's go into our default route so this is actually a secure route we shouldn't be able to access this and actually it, we can't we get redirected um, to our slash auth page um, so that's great so let's set up our profile route okay so for our uh, profile route we can just go into our routes and copy this route that we already wrote paste it into here and then instead of app.get it'll be router.get slash profile we don't need this middleware here because we got it already above um, and all this other information should be correct so let's save this um, let's uh, restart our server um, go to reload this so Facebook and there we have it so now we are able to access our profile page which is uh, secure so let's test it one more time let's log out um, oh we can't log out so let's do that okay so in our profile.ejs file the only one we haven't edited yet we want uh, auth slash logout um, scrolling down it's gonna be auth unlink uh, auth connect same here, same here, 
and then two more and right here so let's save that again restart our server um, go to our page here and we get another error so let me show you why we got this error we are already authenticated and we are trying to navigate to the default directory here now so if we look at our router uh, it it says we're authenticated so it goes to next but we actually don't have a route set up for the default for the default router um, so what we can do actually is set up a catch-all route basically so anybody who is basically not going to um, the profile and is in this router will get uh, will execute this route so let's do um, router dot get and we're gonna go um, slash and then star okay so this fits anything basically okay um, so now we can do function request response res dot redirect to profile so if we try to do something stupid like we just did where we're already authenticated and we're trying to go back to uh, you know this um, it will actually get caught by this router and redirect us back to our profile it will also redirect us if we enter something crazy so let's test it um, save it node server.js refresh this page we get sent to uh, our profile page let's just type in slash lol123 it actually is going to go to this router it's going to realize that we are authenticated um, it doesn't match profile but it does match slash catch all basically and it redirects us to the profile page so uh, with this set up we never have to worry about our user putting in some kind of um, uh, path that you know is unavailable or a four, that would result in a 404 or something like that we can just redirect them to a page that we know we have uh, and have set up so I've went ahead and deleted our old routes folder so all we have now is the auth and secure router and I've deleted where we've required the old router and so all we have left is our two routes so let's talk about those We've set up a auth router that um, auth handles all of our routes uh, for authentication. So logging in with Facebook and Google, uh, linking and unlinking our Facebook and Google accounts, logging in with our local account and sign up page and stuff like that. And then we've set up another router that handles all of our secure pages. The secure pages are pages that we only want the user to be able to see if they are logged into our web app. Um, so it uses a uh, router middleware um, to check to see if request.isAuthenticated is set to true. And then it, if it is, then it goes ahead and redirects them to the profile page. If they're not authenticated, then it redirects them back to our auth router, which will find some way to authenticate them. Um, so that is basically it for this tutorial series. Um, and I'm going to tell you what I have coming up next. So what have we done in this tutorial series? We basically set up a backend for a user to log into a web app. Um, so my thought process is the logical next step is to set up a front end for a web app. So my plan is to actually uh, do some tutorials on AngularJS and setting up a front end using that. Um, what I'm going to do is actually set up a single page app um, and have it only be accessed with our secure router. So I'm actually going to continue with this project, uh, but basically the back end and the Node.js stuff is done. Uh, from here on out, I'm going to create a new tutorial series, an AngularJS tutorial series, um, but I'm going to be using this project setup. So if you're interested in learning about uh, AngularJS or, you know, doing front-end development, um, I want you to go ahead and go to my next tutorial series. They should be coming out in the next few days. Um, if you like this tutorial series, 
Uh, comment below. Tell me what you think I could have done better or if I should have uh, uh, shown something else. I will come back to this uh tutorial series eventually add some more videos on node.js i want to add stuff about apis and uh, it admin only routes and stuff like that and of course there'll be a few other things that i may want to add in the future so this tutorial series is not finished but we're taking a break from here and continuing with node.js or uh, angular js <laughs> so uh thanks guys for watching all the way through these 15 videos i appreciate all the feedback you've given me i look forward to uh, showing you some new stuff on angular and um, if you guys got any questions, concerns, comments, post them below. Hit subscribe if you like this uh, series. And I will catch you guys next time.